Now with an exclusive first look at the new technology designed to keep you and first responders safe if your ambulance crashes. The feature could possibly save lives and it's being rolled out this week. ABC's David Curley is in Arlington, Virginia with more. Good morning to you, David. Good morning, Michael. You know, it's really a dilemma for these first responders, EMTs and paramedics. When they're in the back of an ambulance and working on a patient, do they stay buckled up or do they work on that patient? Well, there is some new technology that you mentioned that's coming out that could help keep them safer. Watch this 14,000 pound ambulance violently roll over. A complete 180 and that was just at 25 miles an hour. GMA is there for this demonstration showing the importance of seatbelts in the back of an ambulance. Every year, there are an estimated 4,500 ambulance accidents on the road. And in the majority, 84% of those accidents, the EMTs or paramedics were not using seatbelts, including this crash earlier this year outside of Cincinnati and this 2014 accident involving a head-on collision. Brian Nagel was in the back of that ambulance working on a patient. He was severely injured. I was sitting on a bench seat, unsecured. It's impossible to do pa good patient care and be restrained. IMI, one of the largest providers of commercial seatbelts, does have a restraint that retracts. That allows you the ability to do some work. But now that new feature, these four point belts have what is called controlled decelerator technology. It's gonna give by extending this web, which right. ends up traveling about four inches. Meaning the belt expands slightly, lessening the impact on the body. The company put them to the ultimate test. The impact of this crash so powerful, the ambulance door is jammed closed. But once we go in, we can see that all the EMT dummies are dangling upside down, but still restrained. That's pretty remarkable. Preventing them from becoming projectiles. When an EMT is not buckled up, they risk not only themselves, but also the patient as well. If they weren't wearing seatbelts, it could look like this. A simulation test also conducted by IMI showing how the dummies go flying. This side-by-side -side view showing how important it is for EMTs to buckle up for the safety of themselves and their patients. Without being restrained, it's just an opportunity for a lot of things to go wrong. For Brian Nagel, now a safety advocate, putting these seatbelts in ambulances is a step in the right direction. We can't save patients if we're not safe ourselves. Nagel, that EMT suffered severe head injuries. He's no longer working in the back of the ambulance. And the laws around the states are different as to whether EMTs and paramedics are required to have these belts on. But this new technology could help and make it a little bit easier. As I mentioned, when you have that impact, the belt gives. Now I'm going to give it a shot. So the idea is all of a sudden we're in a crash and I got a little more give to slow you down if you're in a crash, guys. Uh, new technology just hitting the market. Mm. And that demonstration was, was shocking, sure David. Was. So thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.